All right, hey guys, it's StarTard here, and I am going to bring you uh, something a little bit different, um, but still Smash and gaming HRC related. So um, what I am going to show you today is how to do the infamous triple bat drop and some of the pausing techniques that you'll see in a lot of high-level home run contests. So um, first, to let me show you an example um, let me unmute my TV. Um, I find that Link does the best. Link has the best triple bat drop, so he's and he has the he has one of the better examples. So here we go. Ready, go! All right, and here we go. So just so you don't miss it, I'm gonna pause it and then I'm gonna unpause it immediately after the bat drop happens. That actually, yeah, that was a triple bat drop, and that was a triple bat drop chained with uh, neutral air. Here, I think I do another pause technique. That's a double bat drop, rejump double bat drop. And here's a quadruple. And from that, and from there is just normal Techniques: double jump, double jump, back drop, double jump, back drop, um, back air. And that's that's about it for basic triple back drop. Uh, I find that Captain Falcon does really well, even though his timing is really hard because his fall speed is insane. So each of these you see is a triple back drop jab. Um, I think I said there were five. Yeah. I think there were five or something like that. So, um, if you're wondering how to do this, let me mute my TV again. If you guys are wondering how to do this, this video is going to be all about triple bat dropping and pause technique and pausing. Um, from what I know, or from what I'm guessing more accurately, pausing slows down the game's framing, so you can actually do things that aren't possible unpaused. So I find that one of the easier characters to TBD with is Toon Link. Um, so let's start off right away. Um, so you're going to see me here do, um, that was a more advanced technique, but I'll get to that later. So um, an elementary triple bat drop starts like this. You pause with, you pause and catch the bat as it's falling. You unpause and rapidly drop the bat again. Then you unpause and drop the bat again with um, RL, with R slash L and A. Um, it, it's, it sounds extraordinarily complicated because it somewhat is. So let's, so here's another one. Um, drop, pause, grab the bat, unpause, drop the bat, and then, and pause again really fast, and then Unpause and at the same time drop the bat again, and you'll get a triple bat drop. Um, and notice how the damage increases drastically. Um, a triple bat drop does about, I'd say, 40 to 45 percent, depending on who does it. Um, Toon Links does a lot. Um, Ganon, to my knowledge, his triple bat drop is extremely difficult to land, so I don't ever triple bat drop with Ganondorf. So let's. Let's go back to that first technique that I demonstrated. The um the bat drop, bat throw down, bat drop. Um let me just log into my computer to get the camera on my hands. And let's see, let me um let's pull up the camera. So, um <sighs> So, I'm going to do the bat drop, bat throw down, bat drop which you saw me do earlier. And here is what it looks like in, and here's what it looks like hands time. So, um, something like that. Um, if you want to see hands for triple bat drop, this is hands. Oh, shoot, I messed up. Okay, there. Um, there, that was hands for triple bat drop. And let's get back to our screen. So um, let me orient this correctly since I have to set my laptop up in front of the TV again. Uh, 
So that's about it for um, triple bat drop and bat drop, bat throw down, bat drop. Um, there are more advanced techniques that I can show you, and I'm going to show you guys a s an, just one more. Um, this is something that is really good for um, getting damage with Toon Link, if I can actually get it in like five or six tries. All right. Um, you bat drop, double bat drop, um, pause screen really fast, and then do a down air. And that gets a lot of percent on the sandbag. Um, and there you see I got infinitely more percent than that cute little story video at the um, the cute little HRC demo you come with and replays. So um, I'm going to see if I can beat that demo video using only triple bat drops and... And see, look. There, I've already beaten it. See, I, I already beat the, I almost already beat the damage on there, and that was pretty insane. Um, let's see if I can actually do it this time. Ah, I messed up. See, look there, I already beat the damage for, I already beat the damage, and that was with just one triple bat drop. Um, for characters that do other triple bat drops, um, like Falcon and um, Pikachu, you can get even more damage. So um, let's hear what the actual triple bat drop sounds like. Um, let's go back to our replays. All right, Luigi is really, really good for TBDs because his low fall speed comboed with his easy pause time, um, it makes, it just makes TBDing really easy. However, you have, you do have to fast fall triple bat drop, which is infinitely harder. So here's, so here's what Luigi's TBD looks like. I'm not going to do hands for this because it's a little harder. And there you have it. That is Luigi's TBD. Um, so back to the hands. I'm going to go straight back to hands, saying um, various button combinations that you can use to bat drop and triple bat drop. So um, what you have here, so what we have here is standard GameCube controller, quite obviously. So to bat drop, just Z is, Z is just to grab the bat. X, Z is typical back grab. Um, if you press, I think this is L, if you press LA really fast, it automatically drops the bat if you're holding it, which is pretty cool. So ZLA um, from a land, um, from a jump, is an automatic double bat drop. Um, to bat throw, you I use L, but you can use R. It really doesn't matter. You would, to, to bat throw down for the bat drop, bat throw down, bat drop, you run, grab the bat, and then you would, um, you would run, grab the bat, you would run into a short hop, and then bat drop immediately with Z. So, it would look something like, um, something like that, to throw the bat down. Um, a good combination is LA down, because that's an automatic bat throw. So, now we have and just add the Z at the very end, and you have bat drop, bat throw down, bat drop. Like, just like that. It's, it's, it takes some practice. Fat, your hands have to be pretty fast. Um, but if you can do that, it's, it's extremely helpful, and it gets an automatic 45, 46%, um, depending on the character. Captain Falcons gets a lot more, but that's, be, but that's because he jumps a little bit higher despite his fast falling speed. However, his timing is weird because 
he runs forward first before doing the backdrop, bathroom, and backdrop. Um, makes it a little awkward. So, bat drop, so bat dropping, hence, bat drop tips. Um, just Z, Z is good. Um, so I use Y sometimes because if, because, because of the pausing, um, Z can make you redo the entire run, forcing you to lose a potentially record breaking run, which is annoying. So Y is good you, um, by changing the controls. Um, I use Y, both L and R are for bat dropping and for um, bat throwing. Um, A is obviously bat grab um, and bat throwing. I use C stick for my aerials and X is to jump and I almost never use B unless I use Captain Falcon or Ganondorf. So there you have it guys, um, that's my bat drop tutorial and see you later.